so today I'm going to do an office tour for you, kind of the old bits, the new bits, and now everything is in place. I thought it was the perfect time to give you a little look around. And I don't think I've really done like a room tour on my channel before. I think I maybe did a kitchen one, but I haven't done an office one before. And I feel like when I watch these videos, I always want to see what the layout of the room is like. So I'm going to do you a quick pan around in a second just so you can sort of see how it all fits together and then I'm going to talk you through each space and talk you through furniture, why we got what we got. There are a couple of new things that I've got and I will point those out but definitely check out the homework haul vlog that I did because that has everything in more detail. It feels very strange being in frame that you can actually see my legs. I feel like I really need to breathe in right now and I'm keeping it kind of casual because I've just got a tripod um, so we're gonna try our best with this but the office is amazing. I love having a home office before I worked in our, we had like an open kind of living space and I worked next to the kitchen, next to the kitchen bin on an Ikea laptop table that was extremely flimsy and you'd kind of have to surf on. So having a space I can kind of call my own and sort of make this the office and make this the place of work that I can just close the door on at the end of the day is seriously, seriously dreamy. I love that. But it also does double up as a guest bedroom. So there are a couple of things that I probably would have had in a different place if I didn't have to have a sofa bed in here. Us having a sofa bed in here and a sofa bed that was actually big, because a lot of sofa beds, once you start looking into it, are like tiny little one and a half size, whereas this one is actually a king size sofa bed. You'll see it in a minute, but sort of because we had to have this in here, I know the feng shui of my desk isn't great, and I know there's things that would probably fit in a better place, but it sort of works for me. And like I said, it doubles up as both of those things and serves really well as a guest bedroom when we have people come and stay, because that is quite often, probably like once every two months someone comes to stay, and we're lucky that we've got loft space so we can put all the bedding up here, but it is just nice to have that option of like whipping it out into a bed and there being enough space in here for people to move around whilst they're staying in here as well. So enough backstory, let's get on with the little pan of the room. So when you walk in, you've got the sofa bed here, nice little light, you've got my pictures up there. Also, this light is from West Elm. It probably won't come up in any of the other views, but this was one of the first things I purchased for the office and it's probably still to this day my favorite. And then you've got this bit at the back. This has all of my storage in, all my camera gear, all my makeup. Basically, everything is in those storage boxes. The mirror, and then this is kind of an addition I've made in the last like year or so, but it's really handy to have a clothes rail in here because it's good for putting people's coats on when they come round. Also really handy as a photo prop and it gives me a spot to put all the unwanted makeup that I give to like charity and friends and family in these boxes down here. And then behind is the desk space. This is where it kind of all goes down and I've kept it very real. I haven't like really tidied it up or styled it out or anything. I've got my like, sorry you were out card from the post office there. But this is basically where I plonk myself down all day. The sofa area is probably Mark's favourite place in the room. When he comes back from work, he just like lays on it and talks about his day, which is very nice. And I desperately try not to sit on this because when I sit on it, it makes me want to nap. And it's so long as well, like I could technically nap on it. I mean, it is really a sofa bed, so it just folds out. And I just love the fact that it's a really, apparently a very comfortable sofa bed. People have given us great feedback on it. We got it from Heels and it definitely wasn't the cheapest piece of furniture that we bought, but I know that it's something that like whatever house we're in, we're probably gonna need a sofa bed in one of the rooms and this is just perfect for it. And then on it, this pillow is from Urban Outfitters. This is one of the new ones that I mentioned in that video, along with the furry one at the end that is West Elm and then these are from Society6. And then also this lamp here, which you can't really see, but you would have seen in the previous clip as you walk in, it's just one of these ones. There you go, this is from Heels as well. Although I think I saw or a cheaper one possibly on Oliver Bonus, I wanna say. I definitely saw a cheaper one somewhere else. So if there's any cheaper dupes for anything that I mention here, I will make sure they are linked down below for you. I'm having to stand on my sofa on like one leg and perch like a flamingo here. So I make this one nice and quick, but I thought I would have this picture shelf instead of having them like properly tapped onto the wall, like hammered into the wall, just because it's nice to change them up and it's a very quick and easy way of just making the room feel a bit fresh and new if I wanna change around these prints. So I have my YouTube plaque, which is just, I mean, I still can't believe that, it's still incredible. That was such an amazing moment getting that. And then I've got a print from Urban Outfitters. This one is from Urban Outfitters as well. And then this one is a new one. This is from that Desarnio place, the one that all the bloggers are really into at the moment. Um, I just thought it was nice to have something green, add a bit of greenery. I like that it had this gold frame. It's actually really reasonably priced, but I just feel like it's nice to have kind of things that can change around here. So if I need a bit of fresh inspiration, I'm not having to like 
worry about getting out one of those little, what are they called, spirit level and a hammer and anything like that. This way is very quick and easy to deal with. So basically anything that is stored in this room is stored in here and I just like that it is kind of the focal point of the room and it keeps all my shit just like away and in one place. I forgot to mention actually, under the sofa bed is a really good place to keep all my filming equipment and I keep all my lights and tripods and like big things under there, like printer paper. Where the hell are you supposed to keep printer paper? So it's actually quite nice because it doesn't come all the way down to the floor so you can store a lot under there. But aside from that, everything else is in here. And on top, I will quickly talk you through the top. This is from West Elm, absolutely love this mirror. Very heavy, not that fun to put up, but really love how it looks. And then these little vases are all from Urban Outfitters from the previous video. I've got a Beredo candle that actually I don't really like the smell of. I was very kindly sent this, um, but I do like how it looks. Um, so that's definitely more of a candle for looking at. And then I found this shop in Lewis, which is like a local town to Brighton. It's like 20 minute drive. I think it was called the Goods Company Store. I just walked in and I was like, this is my place. These are my people, I love it. So I bought this like piece of rose quartz, which is just, I mean, these are all just very visual things, which might seem a bit silly to some people, but they're actually really good for photo props. And so a lot of the time I will take things off of here when I'm taking photos. This is a little tray from Hay. Um, but this was one of the other things that I bought from there. It's Boy Smells and it's a candle called Gardener, which was my second name. And it just smells really nice. I got Mark in and he agreed that this was the best smelling one as well. And it's just, not only does it look very cute in the box, so I will be keeping the box but it looks very cute inside as well. So, oh my God, it smells so good. I can't wait to burn that. I will definitely be burning that. And then I've just got this, which is from, this is a paperweight that I think is made in Japan, possibly. Um, but it's from a company called Workshop, which are a place in Brighton. It's like one of my favorite shops in Brighton. I think it's on Ship Street. Um, but again, this is really helpful for like props, but looks nice too. Then I've got some books and I've also got something under here. Whenever I'm in like a magazine or something, I cut it out and put it in here. So I've got like all my, uh, that's when I was in Stylist Magazine. That was really, that was 2014. How insane is that? So I've got everything in here just so I can look back on it one day and show my grandkids that I was cool. And then this actual drawer unit is from a company called Vincent and Barn. And I remember seeing it in Stylist Magazine as one of their like hot picks of the week when I was on the tube in London before we'd even moved. But we knew that we were moving, I knew I needed something for my office and it's basically exactly what I wanted. So every day I would go online to make sure that it hadn't sold out. Then when we moved, I bought it, could not be happier with it. Like back in the day, this was just all makeup and all beauty products and I had to keep my camera stuff and stationery all under my sofa bed as well. But now everything goes in here because I've just, I don't wear as much makeup these days. I've cleared it out, I've become less attached to things, which is actually quite good. So now it's just sort of, I think the top four are makeup and then the four underneath it are kind of more like toiletry things. And then I've got stationery, camera stuff, everything else in here and could not be happier with it. I don't think they sell this anymore, but there's always really similar ones on like anthropology, um, Urban Outfitters always have some very similar ones too, but it just keeps everything organized. I wouldn't say that this part of the room is particularly fun or my favorite part of the room, but it's a very functional part of the room because often I just have things I need to throw somewhere. If I've got like an ASOS parcel that I need to return or something, I can kind of keep it in this section and it doesn't overspill and make the rest of the room unusable. So I've got a nice little hat here. So this is from the trip that I went on with L'Occitane and I really liked it, but where do you store a hat like this? So I just pop it up on the corner and then the actual frame, I really would not recommend. It was from a company that was sold on Not On The High Street and I hadn't really bought anything off Not On The High Street before. Didn't really understand how it worked and I just had a nightmare. They actually sent me something that was completely wrong. It was still a rail, but it wasn't the rail that was advertised. Then I complained and like they came, it was here for ages, picking it up. It was, it was just a massive palaver. It was really expensive for what it was. And now I feel like the high street has really clicked into this rail trend. And even Ikea have some really, really lovely ones. So I do like the fact this one has a bottom. You can't see it in this shot, but I just have these baskets from West Elm down here. And like I said, these are so handy for putting in unwanted makeup that I'm gonna give away to friends and family. It's, they've got handles, so it's really easy to move them around like put them in the back of the car if I need to, say them to my parents. So this is just a very functional space, which isn't the prettiest. Also really handy though for videos and also photo props. A lot of the time you'll see this in blog pictures or you'll see this in the back of a video. So 
it's handy. I don't love having it here, but it just works for the space and works for what I need it for. So this is where I spend the majority of my time and I love it. I'm so happy with this corner. I know it faces a wall, which isn't ideal, but there's not really another configuration that we can have in the room where my desk like faces outside or is really close to the window and we can also fit a sofa bed in it as well. So sort of making the most of what we kind of have to have, but I quite like it. I like this corner. It's very cozy and in the winter I like stick the light on and it just feels like a little nook and I sort of like that. I like that it's quite contained. Um, so I have a massive print here. The print itself is from Urban Outfitters. It's new and then it's in one of those Desanio, I can't say the name, you know what I mean? The D word, but not the D word. I got the frame from there and I'm really happy with the frame. I think that looks really cool and it just is very visual and pink and I'm really into that. And then the desk is from West Elm. Again, this is one of the first things that we got when we moved into the flat. I just fell in love with it and was like, yeah. And it's the perfect size for this part of the room. It literally couldn't be an inch bigger or else it wouldn't fit. So it slots in really nicely and it's absolutely massive. So I can really spread my stuff out on here. So I've got, this lamp is from TK Maxx. I got this ages ago and I just love it. I was looking at something similar on West Elm for like a hundred pounds. This was about 25, I think. I've got this West Elm ball, which is extremely heavy, but just adds a bit of something there. It would be a very good paperweight. Uh, these are from West Elm as well, my little uh, coasters. This Lily got me for my birthday a couple of years ago, and I think it's Anthropology. And these are hay. I love hay for homeware stuff. They're really beautiful, lovely stuff. And then I've got an iMac. And if I'm honest, I actually never really turn this on. I mean, it's very good for photo editing and video editing, but I tend to write more than I do both of those things. And I like to write on a smaller screen. This just makes my eyes go a bit funny. I don't think the distance is there. I think I'm a bit too close to it, but I'm keeping it because you never know. One day I might work in an office where I have loads of space and I need that, but I am a bit of a laptop lover. And then I've got my by Terry Bomb de Rose. I've always got a candle on the go at the moment. I'm trying to use them up. This is the Jo Malone Lavender and Lovage one. This is from Workshop Living as well, like a little concrete dish. I can't remember for the life of me where I got that envelope holder from. I feel like it might have been H&M Home. The little vase is from Tesco's, and I think that's kind of everything. I've got some um, little post-its from Oh Dear that say getting shit done son on the top. <laughs> they just always make me laugh, and then I've got my notepads going on here, like my lists that I've got going on, and then also my new West Elm chair, which you can't really see from this angle, but it is a lovely bluey, tealy velvet, and it is extremely comfortable and it spins. And another thing that I thought I would mention is my printer, because I feel like when you look on Pinterest at all of these office tour things, there's never a printer, but we all need a printer, like especially like a printer scanner, that's what I've got. And it's absolutely massive and it's ugly. If anyone knows of any non-ugly looking ones, I'm definitely in the market, because I've had this one for quite a few years now. But I actually keep it on this marble side table, which again, I use as a prop a lot for blog pictures, um, so I can just slide it out and use it for that if I need to. But it does keep the printer off the floor and it does sort of look averagely okay under there, so I thought that might be something to throw in for some of you who are perhaps looking for a nicer way to store your printer. And if you make YouTube videos, you need one of these. I keep it behind the door, but it's just a fold up table. I got it from Habitat, I think it was 15 pounds like so. It is so handy for filming YouTube videos because it's just a portable table that you can move around whether you're doing like tutorials or you need to put your laptop on it. That is definitely one of my top so you want to make YouTube videos tips. Get yourself one of those. So that concludes the tour of my office. Hopefully you enjoyed it and everything will be linked down below if it is still available and if not I'll try and find dupes and all those kinds of things. Definitely check that out. Thank you so much for watching. This has actually been really fun to film. I've just sort of taken you around the room and it's felt very relaxed and chill, so hopefully that came through. And also there is a new blog post today on my top five productivity tips. It's like all my tips thrown into one and definitely make sure you are signed up for my newsletter because the first one is going to drop tomorrow morning. I'm pre-filming this, so I might regret saying that, <laughs> but if it is going live tomorrow morning and everything is running smoothly, then there will be a link to sign up to the newsletter in the top line of the description box below. But thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon. Yeah, see you on Wednesday with a brand new vlog. Bye.